Hello and welcome back to this tutorial about the database connector class. This is part number two and today I will show how you can uh, can select a single uh, database query and a multi uh, query like if you have two users you need to, to select out from the database uh, and I need to, to show you how you can create um, execute uh, function so you can update and uh, delete if you need this so let's starting and I'm uh, happy you want to watch this movie so first we need to build a private uh, static function we use it by palm this is prepared to to prevent uh, SQL injected so we have in the value inside this we need to uh, a private uh, fun static function called prepare this is for SQL uh, query so we uh, create an uh, object and this function we need to build here it's uh, it's uh, SQL it's, a, it's a, to take a single uh, SQL line uh, it's a return only one uh, line of rows and we need one more so it's a uh, Fetch all, let's take multi rows out. And we need one more. This is our execute um, query. It's a uh, return nothing, it's only used by updates and uh, deletes statements or insert statements sorry so first we need to check um, uh, what's inside it's a string to lower we need uh, lowercase strings and case and we need uh, int and we need string boolean and null string boolean and null return pdo palm int what uh, what I do here it's a return what type we uh, we want to uh, to use inside each uh, binding. Uh, it's prevent you for SQL injecting. I will explain uh, this about a couple of minutes. So let's skip to the next. Uh, now we need to create uh, a query. It's equal to self database object or self database link. And there's a prepare statement. It's equal to SQL query. If it's different by false, we will return it else we return false in this prepare statement we create a, a prepare uh, object uh, it's, a, it's a private static so we don't need to take care about it uh, when we develop we only need inputs and this class will uh, create anything else I collapse this so it's not uh, confusing you. It's only show what we're working on. Uh, 
Uh, now we build the first uh, fetch. So query is equal to self prepare is equal query. If if a query is uh, different by false, we will take care about it. Else, you need to return false. So, if uh, if we have something inside the bind path, uh, it's a count uh, higher in zero. We will expect. Uh, we will expect. And we need to bind a value inside this SQL uh, string, uh, like a user ID, uh, normal. You can do this. Uh, select all from account uh, where user ID is equal to uh, one. All you can do is uh, use ID. But uh, this is not safe. If you open this, it's a re really easy to to make a SQL hack. So we will binding it together uh, by using our palms. So if you uh, insert this, we will expect uh, we will expect we need to bind uh, a string and the value by the type together. In these strings, so let's uh, go ahead as uh, we and our query is a uh, bind palm. It's uh, we zero, we one, and self. Uh, by palm is number two. So now we only need to execute the query and need to to fetch it. Uh, and it's nice if we return it by uh, object, and uh, and here we go. So let's try. I need uh, uh, I need a, a row. It's a database. It's fetch. I need to select. All from account where ID is equal to ID. This is the bind path. Remember this. It's a comma, and now we build our bind path. We need the ID. It's a bind key, and our ID is one, and this type is int, and we need to print it out. So you can see what's happening, and of course we need to build a, a database. So let's call it a account, and inside here we need a full name bar chart, one hundred and twenty-eight, and let's try one out here. a Kaiser. And uh, test full name one and test full name two. If I reload, it's uh, oh, sorry, we need to call it uh, public. Let's need to change public to and 
here now. So you can see we have uh, selected uh, the first ID out. So if we need to, we can uh, copy this and insert it uh, inside of fetch all. The only thing you need to, to do is uh, to change of fetch all in the cry to, to fetch all. So, so we have the fetch all on this. So if we build uh, one more, we can call this row single account. And we can copy uh, this line and uh, remove a bind part, we don't need it and we can uh, select multi-account sorry, <laughs> fetch all it's early at the morning in here in Denmark so we connect it as you can see uh, so this will help you to understand what's going on. This is uh, the fetch command. We only uh, get one out. You can uh, you can echo row single account ID, and you can turn out the ID. Uh, this will not work in in, uh, in multi account because we have a built in array. So if you build echo uh, ID, you will get an error. So if we need this, we can uh, select the first array and we can select the, the, the key number two and we can select the key number three. Uh, okay, that's working. Let's go to the to the execute uh, command. Uh, this uh, it's it's pretty close on on what we have uh, doing. So take a copy. You only need one thing now. It's remove this, and you can go inside this and copy the line and because we don't have any output we can select it uh, this way so let's insert into account ID and full name and values if ID it's uh, okay we we don't take care about the ID because it's a uh, it's auto increased. So it's a uh, if you, the next ID is four, it's get the four and five, six, seven. You get the point. So we only need to to use the full name. Now uh, we need the bind part. So let's uh, do it. Full name and we need a full name string. And this is a string. So let's try and here. We can call it the test user account number one. And we get an error. It's probably because we return something. Yes. Return true. So what's happening here? You can look at it's ID4, it's a full name test. Uh, so let's try it to another one. We call it Peter, and now it's Peter. So this is a free simple functions. So thank you for watching. I hoping you enjoy the time. You are welcome to like it below, and I hope you want to subscribe my channel to get more videos. And I hope you s we see you next time.